Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV Desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important app of Android series. Today we are discussing about a very common app of Android series. Today its name is XMEY for Android TV. So basically in this video we are going to discuss with you that what is XMEY for Android TV, what what are its feature and function. then we'll tell you how you download and install this app and how you configure this app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share video and subscribe to our channel the main purpose of this app is that by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera now as far as its feature and function is concerned not only you can see the live view of the camera but you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera you save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc you take the backup of the recorded videos you adjust the recording stream according to the network bandwidth you control the quality of video recording and many more now we'll tell you that how you download and install this app for that we should go on the screen first and here what you should do you should open the play store first okay and then we'll search apps name as file manager plus now here is file manager plus just open it and here you see that it is all uninstalled that why you see the option of uninstall and after that after install installation just open the app this app which looks like, like this one okay now what you what you should do you should you should google it for xmey apk and another apk name as set orientations okay i make a separate video on how to download and install set orient orientation file and will give link in the description you can watch the video if you don't know if you don't find the file set orientations and after when both the files are downloaded then copy it in pen drive and just insert the pen drive in your android tv and also optical mouse okay when i insert a pen drive it is automatically detected here now i close this you see that my pen drive see here after that click on the setting and now go on the apps and file manager okay and click open and just open the usb storage here i find the xmi file apk and set orientations what we do we should install set orientation apk first just click install for start staging then it then it start installing i already installed it that's why you see this option otherwise you see you don't see this option okay now click new and click install when it is installed just click open now you should always click landscape and click okay why should we do this because it always open the app in landscape mode otherwise it is very difficult if it is opening in portrait mode if it is very difficult to handle and operate now after that you should click xmey -E apk just a single click on it it start staging first now click install that the installation to be finished and will tell you 
what to do next, how, how to configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature. It installed, just click done and just close it. Now whatever I tell you now, it's very important. Just click on setting and just click on device preferences. And now click security and restrictions. Just click unknown source. And if it XMUI is over there, just enable it. Okay. And after that, again click on setting. Now click apps. Click see all apps. And here you find XMUI. Just open it and just click on the permission and give all the permission especially locations okay now close the app permission and click open if it not give location access then it will stuck in between it, the app is not open that's why it is very important setting just click open click i agree here it asks for username and password. You, you could, here you find the register option. You can do by your own. I just make a video for education trading purpose. I don't want to waste time over here. Just click local. Click I agree. Okay. This is the interface after login. Now what you should do. You should register the device first. Okay. Now, just click on the top right corner plus button. And here you want lot of options like manually match and Wi-Fi con config. Okay. And just close this. And here you found the option QR code. Okay. And here you find the option album. In this way you can access your gal uh, pen drive so basically when you go to the device means dvr and vr and login it and go to the information over there you find the qr code and also a cloud id okay so you should if someone send you that qr code you should copy in pen drive and give access from here and just scan it in this way you can also do the add the device and here you find search one if your device and your android tv both are on the same network then you should click on this search, this search otherwise you should click on manually add and here you should give device name you should give any name like in my case i just put test and you can any anything like home camera or office camera whatever you want And now here you should insert the serial ID, okay? Cloud ID. Where did you get scale? cloud ID? Just log in your device and go to the network and then go to the information over there. You should find cloud ID. And here you also will find a QR code scanner. Okay? Advanced ID here.
now click advance here you ask for username and password please don't be confused it is the username and password of the device device means dvr nvr whatever you are adding okay and now you should click ok now you see that device is added successfully it is totally dependent on internet speed at your end and your and, and your device end just click it here you find all the cam Here you see the camera. Now just double click on any cam. You are able to see the cam. In this way, you can. see that you add the device and here you find edit option just all the thing you can do from here like refresh device all the things and just click here you see all the 16 cam because this is 16 device Here you find all the setting like upgrade, local stream, search function, advertisement, encrypted transmissions, main stream, mass sub stream, all the thing you can do from here. there is nothing because there is nothing we can record here you find the mobile storage option again open it let's go to the That's all about this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Have a nice day.